the distressed sales share continues to decline towards pre-crisis levels, and the GSCs bring the foreclosure prevention action since 2008 up to $3.56 million, with July's total of nearly $20,000. Ahead on the Weekend News Wrap. Sales of distressed residential properties continued heading towards their normal levels with another substantial year-over-year -year decline in July 2015, according to the distressed sales data released by CoreLogic on Thursday. Distressed property sales accounted for 9.4% of all homes nationwide in July, which represented a decline of more than two full percentage points from July 2014's share of 11.5%. July 2015's share was a decline of 0.4 percentage points from June's adjusted share of 9.8%. REO sales comprise 6.1% of all home sales in July, their lowest level since September 2007, when they made up 5.2% of all home sales. Distressed sales made up 32.4% of all home sales nationwide at their peak in January 2009, with REO representing nearly 28% of that share. By comparison, the pre-crisis share of distressed sales was typically around 2%. CoreLogic estimated the distressed sales share would reach the level around the mid-2019 if it continues to decline at the same year-over-year -year rate at which it declined in July 2015. Freddie Mae and Freddie Mac complete another 19,485 foreclosure prevention actions in July, according to the FHFA's July 2015 Foreclosure Prevention Report released Thursday. The total of foreclosure prevention actions completed by the GSEs in July was more than double the number of foreclosure sales executed during the month which totaled around 9,000. With July's total of nearly 20,000 foreclosure prevention actions, the enterprises have now completed 3.56 million such actions since the start of the conservatorship in September 2008. You can check out these stories on the latest happenings in the industry right here on our site. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again on Monday. Until then, stay with DSNews.com for the most relevant default servicing news.